Good morning, Unity of Ocala. <laughs> How are you all? <laughs> Good. My name is Eileen, and I'm so happy to be here, and I welcome you on behalf of the entire spiritual community, Unity of Ocala. Will you join me for a prayer, please? Dear God, as I rise up, I thank you for the opportunity to be on this earth. I thank you for my mind and body. I thank you for my life. God bless my body and use it for your purposes. May I rise up strong today and may my body and soul radiate your love. May all impurities be cast out of my mind, my heart, my body. May every cell of my being be filled with your light. May my body and mind both be illumined for your sake and for the sake of the world. Amen. We'll be having some music from our wonderful band. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. sing along and because we're grateful for everything. <sighs> Please join me in speaking unity's foundational principle together. There is only one power, one presence active in the universe and in my life. Good, omnipotent. And when we live this principle together, we are a thriving spiritual community here to inspire one another to realize God's love. Centered in the spirit of God, we see peace, love, and abundance in the awakening world. Our daily word today for Sunday, November 24th, 2024, is abundance. I gratefully take my place in an abundant world. Will you say that with me? gratefully take my place in an abundant world. Today, I renew my appreciation for the world's abundance. 
from my personal belongings to inspiring public spaces and the wonders of the natural world, abundance surrounds me. It can be easy to take these things for granted, especially when the needs and obligations of daily life usurp my energy and attention. My focus is key. As I fill my senses with the beauty and goodness around me, I feel my gratitude for the world's bounty anew. God is the source of the abundance in my life. I am grateful for the goodness and grace of God that blesses the world and expresses at the point of me. I live abundantly, grateful for all I've been given and for my opportunity to give it back. And our reading today is from Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. And my God will fully satisfy every need of yours according to his riches in the glory of Christ Jesus. Amen. And we have music again before the meditation. I'd um, like to just let you know that today we have a guest speaker by the name of Reverend Lynn Wood. All you guys probably know her. I'd like to welcome her. <laughs> up here. I usually sit down there. I can't see all of you. <laughs> it's lovely. Well, I know as usual, 
<coughs> excuse me. <laughs> usual to do a meditation and then a talk. I'm going to reverse things a bit today because um, the meditation I have in mind is something of an ex experiment in consciousness. And I want to explain and talk a little bit about what I mean by that. Um, of course, being Thanksgiving week, it's only right to give some attention to gratitude, our blessings. And uh, being that we're here at Unity, <coughs> I want to talk about our blessings and our, and, and our gratitude as being one of our most potent spiritual powers. Uh, and these are, that's one of our principles, right? That we, we, as we think, we create our thoughts, our feelings, our words go into shaping our reality, right? We, we all know that. So it makes sense that the more attention we give to our blessings, the more blessings we attract. And I, I think that it is especially important in these days, this time of man. I know Reverend Laurie has touched upon here. We're kind of in a, uh, in, in a time of darkness, that there's a lot of people are experiencing some of the heaviness of our times. And personally, I, I, see, I feel that too, of course, and I, I see this as part of a big evolutionary shift that humanity is in the midst of. So I don't see it as all dark. I see us as in tumultuous times because times of rapid change, that you know, they always shake things up. And I, I, it's kind of like this great big giant wave that's coming along and we can intentionally, consciously lift ourselves up to catch the crest and, and let it take us somewhere and also lift others with us. Or we can brace against it in fear, like, oh my God, change, like, oh, no, change. And of course, what happens, you know, we, we live close to the ocean. If you brace against the waves, they like, oh, you get pummeled back to shore. If you rise with it, it, it can lift you and take you. I, th I think that, that says a lot about the times we're in and, and what makes the difference, whether we lift or get pummeled, is, is where we give our attention. Are we giving more of our attention to our fears, like, oh my God, what's gonna happen next? Or to our joy, to our gratitude, to our, our positive visions for the world? Um, and you know, I think those of us who work with consciousness need to be especially diligent when times become a little more uh, quick and tumultuous and ever-changing because we are some of the change agents. Uh, you know, I know there's a lot of people here who've been doing this work forever, you know, meditating and working on yourselves. And you thought you were, you were all just working on yourselves, but just maybe you are preparing yourselves for now for this very important time in humanity. So, you know, we can't let our, our consciousness slip because as, as important as it is to take action and do all the things in the world to make it a better place, some of us who are willing and ready need to hold consciousness. That's an important part of change as well. But you know, I, I, I know I'm, I'm kind of preaching to the choir here. You're all a bunch of unitics. We are unitics here, yes. Um, so I want to do more than just talk about the power of gratitude. What I'd like to do is join us all together to really use that power to tap the abundance of the universe. I love that that was our word of the day. It's perfect. So uh, that, that's where we get into the experimental part. And uh, let's start right now. Let's, everybody just <sighs> take a deep breath. Let's just relax, just relax. But don't close your eyes, not yet. <laughs> Instead, just look around, look around, see who's around you. You don't need to, need to do any deep eye gazing, you know, nothing, you know, kind of creepy, scary, mushy. Just look around 
see who all is here. And uh, it let one person just stand out in, in your mind. Just, just imagine one person is just coming forward in your mind's eye. Might be someone you know well, might be one you hardly know at all, might be the person here you like the best, might be the one you kind of hmm, wonder about. Hope that's not me. <laughs> Um, but, you know, just let that person come to mind. Make it, let it come from more of an intuitive place than, you know, oh, yeah, I know that one. I know that one. And then, and then close your eyes. Then close your eyes. <sighs> and breathe. Just take some deep breaths. And let your attention just turn inward. And just reflect on that experience you just had, looking around the room. Did you really look? And uh, ask yourself, how many people here have you really let matter to you? Is there someone here who you could truly say, this person has been a blessing in my life. Now, are there people here you've kind of allowed to be invisible? Now, there are right or wrong answers here. Just, just notice this is information about yourself. And just imagine that every person in this room, whether you know them or not, whether you like them or not, whether you want to invite them to lunch or not, every person here could be a blessing to you if, if you allow yourself to feel blessed. So stretch your imagination open a bit and imagine what it would feel like if you knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that every person in this room has some amazingly wonderful gift for you. Something, something you need and, and you want, maybe without even realizing how much. You don't need to believe this. Just imagine what it would feel like if you did, what it would feel like to look around the room and, and feel seen and known and loved by every person in this room, accepted just the way you are for who you are, not needing to earn love, Again, you don't need to decide if this is possible or not. Just imagine, just imagine what it would feel like because as we imagine, we create. So we are creating here. And in your mind, walk around a bit in this reality where you feel loved and seen and known and accepted and you are completely undefended and deep in your core you feel safe even as the world around you goes through deep change you feel safe and you feel loved and known and all of this starts to bubble up, bubbling over into overwhelming gratitude. And you don't have to believe any of this is true. Just imagine it. Feel it. Because as we imagine, we create. 
So here comes the experiment. Let yourself go a little deeper. <sighs> Body relaxed. Mind still and quiet. Completely relaxed in your seat. Inhaling deeply, exhaling just as deeply. Now that we've raised the vibration in this room with our gratitude, let's see what else we can create with it. So keep imagining. Imagine that we have left reality as we used to know it outside the room. We've entered a sacred, fluid, beautiful space where we are making up new rules for ourselves, for the world. <clears throat> and imagine that our gratitude, our joined loving consciousness, has created a synergy of energy, an amplification of energy. So together, we become a force that's so much bigger than we could ever be separately. A force for healing, for manifestation, for transformation. Together in love, we hold the power of miracles we tap into something divine. And again, don't worry about whether you believe this or not. Just in this moment, as part of our experiment, just imagine what it would feel like if you did. Just imagine and, and, and shift focus a bit for a minute and bring to mind something in your own life that you deeply want. Something that you would like to call into being, maybe something new, or something you would like to shift in some way. Maybe clearing an obstacle or, or healing something. Shifting a circumstance. Maybe simply feeling more at peace in an unpredictable world. So again, bring this to mind. And as we do here at Unity, make it real. See it as though it's happening now. Give thanks as though it's already happened. Feel the joy and fulfillment of the dream come true. And let this be the, the lightest, most pleasant of daydreams that just brings a smile to your face. Because that's our, our most powerful manifesting state. We don't strain, we don't make it work. This is fun. This is pure pleasure. Like you'd play with a little butterfly in your hand. It just brings you awe and pleasure and wonder. And now, now let it go completely. Let it go with the certainty that this or something better has already started to unfold. Just let it go. Let it go, just like you'd release a little butterfly that lit in your hand for a moment, lightly. Because now you've planted the seed. Let it grow. You don't need to strain your brain around it. Let it go. And we're not done yet. Now, now shift your attention. This is where the magic happens. Bring your attention back to that person who first came to mind when I asked you to look around, picture that person in your mind's eye because this is a very special person. This is the person 
who's going to really help you tap into divine source, into the abundance of the universe by offering you an opportunity to open your heart even bigger, unconditionally, without this person having to earn it or deserve it, just loving in the way God loves. So just picture this person in your mind's eye, see their beauty, the gift they bring to the world, not just you. Look at this person deeply now, feel into this person's very soul, and imagine this person has some incredible gift they have come to bring to this planet, because we all have that. We rarely look for it in one another. We all have that, and the more we can see it in each other, the more we call it forth. So this is your moment to be God, to see this person as completely beautiful, as worthy of your love, as an innocent, beautiful child of God with a wondrous, special purpose. And now, if you can feel that even a little, just silently communicate from your heart to this person, I care about you. I see you. I accept you. You are safe. I love you. And again, unity principles, whatever we give away unconditionally is what comes back to us. So you've just sent, set all kinds of miraculous wheels in motion on behalf of this other person as well as yourself. And just notice how it feels as you do this. How your body feels. How your energy feels. If everyone in a group is in the vibration of unconditional love at the same time, there is no limit to what we can create with it. We tap the abundance of all that is in a hugely powerful way. So now imagine just th this enormous light rising from this room and it's taking all of our heart's desires with it to be manifest and fulfilled in the perfect way. But it, it doesn't stop there. Imagine this huge light rising from this room, moving into the world beyond, lighting places of darkness, creating safety, and acceptance and love. And take a moment with that. See this light move out into the world. Send it where you see the greatest need. Send it everywhere you would like to fill with light. Send it as far as your imagination will allow. See how far you can let it go, how big you can make it. You are a change agent. Use your power. And just notice, doesn't that feel pretty good? Whatever you're putting out there, you're calling back to yourself. As we think it, it is so, and be grateful.
take some deep breaths. Just let that light go. Know that you've planted all kinds of seeds for yourself, for others in this room, for the world beyond. Let it all go. Start to breathe. Breathe yourself back into the room. <sighs> Feel your feet on the floor, grounding you back in your body. And when you're ready, just gently, one more deep breath and open your eyes. Music down. <laughs> so, I'm not done with you guys yet. <laughs> because, you know, now that we're all in our hearts and maybe a little more warmer and fuzzier than when we came, I want you to think about the people here, this space, here, now, and see if there is someone here you might want to speak to and let them know how they've been an incredible blessing in your life and wh what you are grateful for about them. And Bill's going to pass the microphone around. Who's the brave soul who's going to get us started? <laughs> Garmin. I want to send my <laughs> gratitude to you because my s because I remember like it was yesterday. It was like six months ago and you approached me and you said one of the most beautiful <laughs> things I've ever heard in my life. You said, hey, Carmen, would you be my friend? <laughs> and I was like, yes. <laughs> and you've been a wonderful friend. So thank you. Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> Tanya, Tanya, Tanya. Tanya's oh. hand w went up first. Hi. I saw her. <laughs> Good morning. Debbie, I hold you in the light. You are such a special sacred spirit that helps so mm. many people. In so many ways. Thank you for being who you are. I love you. Up to the mic, up to the mic. <laughs> I leave hmm. with a book. Mike, up to the oh, mic, so mic. <laughs> Hold it for her, Bill. All she wanted to say is how wonderful Okay, okay. This goes out to Shirley. Sh when I first came here, I didn't know anything um, about what to do here and what was going on. And she's, she was always helpful, always there for me. And just going out and reaching out to me, going beyond above her, her job. And Shirley, thank you so much. I love you. Welcome over to Debbie. Well, ditto for Shirley, absolutely. And I could look, I could see, uh, like everybody has been beautiful <coughs> to me, especially in times of need. But today, Bruce. Bruce has the gentlest, most non-judgmental, artistic, loving soul. And he just embraces me. He embraces my husband. He creates a sense of beauty and peace and love and he just doesn't do it on purpose he just like stumbles around mm. doing it so 
<laughs> I, I'm not the only one, I'm sure. But <laughs> any other sharing? Oh, hi. Good morning. I am grateful for the Unity family that we are part of, but mostly I am grateful for this guy. <laughs> we have been together 40 years. This Thursday on Thanksgiving will be our 32nd wedding anniversary. <laughs> and I am so blessed. God has been so good to me, <laughs> giving me him. Love you. Oh, I, I'm just so grateful for my Unity family. I pray for all of you. Each and every night, I thank God for all of you. And Bruce is my little brother. Anytime the church needs something, he's right there to do it. He takes care of this church with such love. He's just a sweetheart. So I, I just can't say how grateful I am for all of you because I love you. I truly do. Mm. Mm. That's Sandy up front. A couple of people. I'm blessed to have Martha with us, and uh, Martha is just she's always there for us, for me. It's just uh, encouraging, and um, just really glad that she's here. And also, Bill for <laughs> uh, getting the music ministry going, and of course Bruce too, and for both of you being so non-judgmental. And encouraging and 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 all the joy that you have brought to me and to us oh mr. Bruce I've been called out a little I guess but <laughs> what I'm really grateful for is this moment right now where I can see everybody's face at one time it's just uh, it, part of it is the way I feel but part of it is just the radiance that's there. And one other thing, I still feel the presence of Elsa. I have one. Oh, I have, Cecilia. Oh, oh, after Cecilia. Cecilia, I have one. Uh, I have to say I'm, I'm very helpful, happy that uh, I got chance opportunity to play w with the music group because mm -hmm. I love synchronicity in my life and they're all good mm -hmm. and it helps me because I played with other people who uh, didn't do anything. So I have to say I watch him when he handles his uh, keyboard and then that makes helps me to hit the right notes. I think. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I have one. You do? Yeah. Tanya, Tanya, I am so grateful for you because I've been in different groups with you, the Wednesday afternoon class and, and here and after service discussions and things. And I have noticed every time you open your mouth, something incredibly wise comes out. <laughs> and I just go, oh. Thank you. And I just wanted you to know how much I, I just value your quiet presence. That, you know, you, I'm so glad you're going to be part of the healing team. And I hope you all stay for the healing service because we're just going to take what we built here and keep it going. Um, but thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Anything else? Well, we call it a wrap. All right. I will just take myself away now and leave it to everybody else.
Thank you for the serenade. Whew, nice. in the blessings of our tithes and offerings. Divine love flowing in and through me. Blessings and all tithes all that I have, all that I give, all that I receive. Amen. Be the presence. This is our prayer box here in this church. It holds all the prayers and requests and thank yous of everyone here. Our, our chaplains pray for it every day, pray, all, pray for all the prayers every day, and after 30 days they are sent to Unity Village where they're prayed over 24-7. Prayer works, I've heard so many stories about miraculous things, and I expect we're gonna see some more today. <laughs> So yeah, get your prayer slips, they're back on the credenza, and pop them in the box. Today's prayer chaplain is Jim Reed. Jim's in the back, or anybody else that has a purple stole on. Jim will be up front at the end of the service to pray with you or for you, if you like. Do we have any children? We got all of us, right? How about if we give ourselves a good blessing? We love you. We bless you. We see you loved, guided, and protected. And we empower you to do great things. Amen. Do we have any first-time visitors here today? I might see a few new faces. Hello, hello. <laughs> Our ushers will bring you a package explaining who we are and what we do. We hope that you enjoy yourself and stay afterwards for coffee and conversations. Our gathering circle meets every Wednesday at 1230, including this week. It's Ooh, a great let's time. Uh, let's take a moment to bless our, our visitors. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed that. Sorry. We love you. We bless you. We see you. We love you. We bless you. We behold the Christ in you. We love you. We bless you. We behold the Christ in you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, our group meets every Wednesday at 1230, including this week, I believe. Come and join us from 1230 to 2 for coffee, conversation, and prayer. We have a great time. Lynn Woodland's Miracle Course is held via Zoom every Wednesday evening between 8 and 9. No charge for this course, but donations are gratefully accepted, and they go to support our church. It's wonderful. It's a fundraiser for yes. Yeah. yeah. Lynn, while you're talking, do you want to explain about what's going to happen after service today? Yes. First of all, I, I want to um, just let you all know that just because, you know, the the formal exercise is over. You don't have to stop sharing your gratitude with each other <laughs> <laughs> over coffee, over cookies. You know, if there's someone here you didn't get to say something to, you didn't want to on a microphone, consider. Keep it going. 
Um, yes, this is going to be our very first healing service. It, it, I have been doing healing in one form or another for a good 45 years, and I've seen a lot of miracles. That's kind of my thing, miracles, studying and teaching what gives rise to them. So I know all things can happen. I will talk a little bit about that, guide us all in some meditation, and then there will be a time we have a healing team here. You can just get some hands-on healing. So this is a, an opportunity. If there's something in your body that, that you'd like you know, um, some healing for, yes. If you just want to leave, maybe, having experienced some miracles, yes. I, I always say the sky's the limit when we do this kind of work because that is what I have seen. Really all things are possible in, in God. So I think of a healing service as also an opportunity to stretch our beliefs about what's possible in life um, and to just go away feeling a whole lot better. Mm. So, you know, consider joining us. Thank you, Lynn. <laughs> we hope you'll all stay. Next Sunday, following the service, we'll have a belated Thanksgiving potluck just before decorating the church for the Christmas season. So there is a sign-up sheet back in the back for next Sunday and what you will bring to the potluck. Bring a friend and get ready for some fun and holiday merriment. Are there any other announcements? Oh, it's a quiet group today. <laughs> If you could, you stand and join our prayer for protection. Together, the light of God surrounds us. The love of God envelops us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is, and all is well. Yay, God. Familiar highways, lined with leaves turn brown, making my way back into my hometown. Funny how this all looks different, but it feels the same. Like how life never stops changing, but some things never change. So fill your plate and fill your drink. Fill this house with family The kind of love that all these years can't wash away 